A stethoscope is the most identifiable instrument uh, for a doctor. It revolutionized how physicians examine patients for disease and injury by allowing them to listen to the heart, lung, stomach, and most body parts except the brain. Now Stanford researchers have developed a new device called a brain stethoscope to improve uh, how to detect seizures, particularly the ones that have no physical symptoms. Joining us with more details on this is emergency room nurse uh, Alice Benjamin. She's a clinical nurse specialist. Good morning Good to morning. you. Good morning. Good morning. And we should point out and get started by saying that today is Epilepsy Awareness Day. Yes. And so how might this new tool help with the detection uh, of epilepsy? Well, um, I want to say there are about 3.4 million people in the United States who suffer from epilepsy. It's a neurological condition that often manifests with seizures. Mm -hmm. But it's also important to know that uh, you can also have seizures without it necessarily being epilepsy. So what a seizure is, it's abnormal, abnormal brain activity that can cause seizures, it can cause change in levels of condition, and causes a person to lose uh, uh, their motor control and lack of awareness of what's going on. Mm -hmm. So it's something that can be very dangerous if not taken care of. Um, and when it comes to this new device, I think this device is going to revolutionize how we actually identify and take care of people with seizures. What is the traditional process for diagnosing seizures? Well, when it comes to diagnosing seizures, uh, we do what's called an EEG, an electroencephalopogram. And so what happens is we put electrodes on certain parts of the scalp, and the electrical activity in the brain is then transcribed into waveforms. And then a neurologist or someone who's trained in reading EEGs reviews that and determines if it's a seizure, if it's not a seizure, and what's going on. So that's how we typically yeah. uh, use that to identify seizures. It can, take a, it can be a lengthy process because someone has to perform the test, a, uh, um, a doctor has to read the test, and then determine what is next. So this new device is going to really uh, change how we look at seizures using an auditory system. There's something called a silent seizure. Explain yes. what that is and, and why it's so dangerous. So what a silent seizure is, it is actually um, abnormal brainwave activity that occurs. However, there's no physical manifestation. Mm -hmm. I think most people... You can't tell if they're having No, seizures. absolutely not. I think most people think that when people have seizures, there's this uncontrolled uh, muscle twitching, mm -hmm. tremors, and convulsions. But that's not actually the case all the time. Sometimes a seizure can occur, and the individual having the seizure won't know. Um, it can, they can present with a blank stare, lose consciousness, so we don't actually see the physical manifestations of the abnormal wow. brainwave activity. Yeah. And then what kind of damage is done if you don't know that you're having those? I would imagine that's a pretty devastating thing if you're, you don't know you're having them. Absolutely. So the brain wave activity is very abnormal. It's erratic. And a person can lose bodily functions. It can be very unsafe. It can actually lead to permanent brain damage in mm. some cases. And depending on what the person's doing, if they were driving or sure. swimming or doing activity, they can actually, you know, have other complications that happen from that. The brain stethoscope that you've been talking about, yeah. is, this a, is this at hospitals? Is it a Available? Is it being used a lot now? Is it, is, you know, is it expensive? Right. Well, so this is a, a, it's a new information. It's a new technology that's being used at Stanford currently. So if you think of the the traditional stethoscope, I can mm -hmm. put this on my ears here, yeah. and I can listen to your heart, lungs, and stomach. Mm -hmm. Now with this new device, they'll be able to actually take the electrical activity uh, from the brave brain and transduce it into auditory sounds. So right now it's being used at Stanford, so the patients there are benefiting it from it, but I'm sure this is going to spread like wildfires because when we have a technology like this that's so helpful, we quickly want to spread it so other people can benefit from it. Do you think at some point the brain stethoscope should replace what you mentioned is that traditional EEG? Well, it's, as wonderful as it is, and it's very promising, it won't actually replace an EE, the traditional EEG mm -hmm. because those are very specific. It can pinpoint exactly where in the brain the seizure is occurring. Now this new sonic device, uh, what we'll do is it can be a quick tool, a quick assessment to help triage to determine if someone's having a seizure. Mm. Because when we order the traditional EEG, there's a time lapse. It gets ordered, there's a process of getting it done yeah. and read, and then the final information. With this new device, you can actually do this at the bedside and get this information real time. Is there any use with this tool about other you know, things going on in the brain, other diseases that affect the brain? Can it be used for other diagnoses? Well, absolutely. I think uh, what researchers are looking at first is just to pinpoint um, 
having its use for detecting silent seizures. When someone has a seizure, there are other causes for it. It could be a brain tumor, infection, inflammation, a head injury, a stroke. So there's a lot that's going on with the brain. So I think this tool has the potential to tell us a lot more with the brain, but currently we want a quick assessment tool to determine if someone's having a seizure. That way we can get the ball rolling with treatment, diagnostic tests, because the longer a seizure goes undiagnosed, the more damage is happening to the brain. Yeah, right, Alice Benjamin, thank you so an much emergency for room in. RN clinical nurse specialist. You can follow her on social media and check out her website, asknursealice.com. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you.